Hey, in this video, let's unbox this Realme Nozzle 20 Pro. I have given the product link in the description. From there, you can check it. So, let's start. Let's open the seal. It cost me 16999, approximately 17,000. It comes with two variants. 6GB RAM, 64GB storage and 8GB RAM, 128GB storage and this is the 8GB RAM, 128GB variant The HR value of this phone is 0.990W per kg and the body HR value is 0.934W per kg On the top we have the main specs of this phone It comes with 65 Super Dot charger and 4500mAh battery It has Helio G95 12nm processor it has a 6.5 full HD plus display with 90Hz refresh rate. Talking about the camera, it comes with 48 megapixel AI quad camera. So let's open the box. On the top we have a protective case and also the quick start guide. So let's keep it aside and talking about the case, the quality of the case is good. I think it can resist the phone from drops. It's not fully transparent, it has a dark black shade. So next we have the phone, it comes with two colors, one is black ninja and other white knight. You can choose between these two colors. It is a plastic glass finish but in the look wise it looks good and it has a gradient white and sky blue color design. And on the front it comes with a pre-applied screen protector and I don't think it lasts for a long time. On the left we have the volume up and down buttons and on the top left we have the 16MP front camera. Next we have the Super Dot charger. Its output is 5V 2A or 10V 6.5A at max that is 65W. Next we have a data cable with USB 2 Type-C. Last we have the SIM ejector. That's it in the box. Next let's have a look at the phone. On the back you can see 4 cameras with a flash. Now let's apply the case on the phone. The case wasted the overall look of the phone. Oh, they didn't apply the screen protector well. It has a small air bubble here. So let's leave it and turn on the phone. On the right, we have the power button and the fingerprint sensor mounted on it. The good thing about the protective case is it protects the port from dust. And on the bottom, we have 3.5 mm headphone jack mic type c port and the speaker and it doesn't have a secondary noise cancellation mic that's really a bad thing on the back it has a 48 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel 90 degrees wide angle lens 2 megapixel portrait camera and 2 megapixel macro lens and a flash i'll quickly set up this now let's test the fingerprint sensor Go to settings, next fingerprints and passwords. I'll quickly set up this. Now let's test the fingerprint sensor. Now we can see the fingerprint sensor. It's pretty fast and let's have a look at the apps. It's a document wallet. Here you can keep all your soft copies of your documents and you don't get much bloatware out of the box. You can delete these apps if you want to. Now let's open about phone in the settings. Out of the box you will get 114 GB of free space and Android 10. And in the future, you will get updates for Android 11. And in the next video, I will give you a complete review of this phone. And I also bought another case for this phone. It cost me 599 rupees. I have given link in the description. From there, you can check it out. It's a leather texture TPU armor case. It is from the company called Golden Sand. It's a perfect fit for the phone and it's durable and long lasting. It has raised lips for better protection on the front.
and that's it for the video if you think the video is useful give it a like and subscribing to my channel will give me support to make more videos and thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one